Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this week's video, I wanted to talk about my autumn fashion wish list. I've recently been so inspired by all of the beautiful autumn fashion that basically every brand puts out right now. And that is why I thought I would make a little wish list where I just accumulated all of the pieces I would love to own and I would love to buy this season. Quick disclaimer, I'm definitely not gonna buy everything on this wish list. This is basically just for inspirational purposes and also I wanna be a bit more mindful with my purchases. So I don't wanna go out and randomly just buy something. I really wanna think about the purchases I make so that I will love them for years and years to come. So that is why I just like to put all of the items I am loving on a list to ponder over them. And when I notice that I just can't stop thinking about the item, I will go out and try to purchase it. For all of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Lena. I make fashion, beauty and lifestyle content. And if you like this kind of content, then maybe consider subscribing and joining our little community. I would be very grateful and very happy about it. But yeah, I think that was enough talking and explaining. So let's get right into this video. Okay, so let's start with the category shoes. I have two different shoes on my wish list and they're both from Carmina Shoemaker. I have previously done some video about Carmina shoes. I currently own two pairs and I wanna just buy some more basically. The first one being a pair of black Chelsea boots. I do own a pair of black Chelsea boots at the moment and they're from the brand Merman, but unfortunately they just, they're just too narrow for me. My feet are really white and that is very annoying when buying shoes. So I need to buy a new pair of Chelsea boots if I wanna like wear these for many, many hours in the day and not just like two, three hours before my feet are killing me. And I already have shoes from Carmina with the same shape, which I really like and which I can wear for like eight, nine hours and my feet are totally fine. So I thought I would give these a go and maybe purchase a pair of Chelsea boots, but I also have a second pair from Carmina on my wish list, and actually I already own these shoes. They are the Balmoral boots. I already own them in brown and I've had them for like three years and I absolutely adore these shoes. So I wanna get a black pair because I know they fit me well, so it's not like a gamble when I order these, I know they will fit and I really love the style of shoe. So yeah, I think probably I'm gonna go for the Balmoral boots, although I would love a pair of Chelsea boots. So I'm really undecided on the two of them. So yeah, these two are on my wish list. probably just gonna buy one pair of shoes this autumn winter, but it's gonna be one of these two. Next up, let's talk about clothes. And I'm gonna start with Lily Silk. Lily Silk, again, is a brand I've featured on this channel quite a lot. I've done some Lily Silk hauls. I think they have amazing pieces. Their silk is so nice. I still have loads of pieces from them that I love and that I really enjoy wearing. So of course, I found some very nice things I want to get from them. The first one being the Wild Silk sleeveless sweater in the color navy. This is not from their autumn collection, I believe, but I thought you could definitely wear this with a blazer on top or something, or on its own, basically. It's just such a beautiful classic piece that is perfect for these transitional shades. If it's still a little warm outside and you don't wanna have anything long sleeve, but you still wanna feel a bit more cozy, I think this is just gonna be a very nice piece to wear, also for springtime. And I've seen the sweater on quite a few people and I have to say, I just really love the look of it. I feel like this is such a classic staple piece, but it's different to what I already have in my wardrobe. And I just have to say, it looks like it's amazing quality. I know Lily Silk is amazing quality, so there's no doubt in that. And the pieces are quite reasonably priced, so I am lusting over it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for it, but I would really love to have this in my wardrobe. The second piece I absolutely fell in love with, like the first time I saw it, I was like, wow just wow, I really need that piece, is the sand washed pocket trench dress in the color safari green. It is perfection. It's made from 100% silk. It looks absolutely incredible. It is a button down dress, which I really, really like. You can cinch yourself in that, the waist, and it's just the most comfortable style of dress, in my opinion, to wear. It looks so chic, so classic. It is in a midi to, probably on me, long length. 
but I like that. Especially for autumn, you might not want to have your legs on show and I feel like this dress is absolutely perfect to transition into winter. You could also wear it with boots when it gets a little bit cooler outside and yeah, I just think it is absolutely stunning. Because of the pockets, it is a little bit more casual than maybe if it didn't have pockets on your chest, but I kind of like it. I love this smart casual look. Um, I don't really like calling things smart casual, but it is a little bit. It's not like elegant elegant, you know. You can basically do everything in this dress. You can go for a meeting, you can have a coffee, you can run errands, you can go shopping. You can wear it all day, every day, and still it looks very elegant because of the silk material. And yeah, I'm quite obsessed with this dress and I have been for many, many months, so I know I need to purchase it. And I would be very gutted if it sold out or went away because I need this in my wardrobe and I'm just waiting for the right moment to buy it. The next and last item from Lily Silk is this gorgeous midi merino wool skirt. They do the skirts in two different colors, one of them being black and one of them being camel, and I love both of them. If I had to decide between the two, I would go for the black over the camel, but ideally I would like to purchase both because they look so stunning. They are 100% merino wool, which is amazing for the cooler months. They are in a midi length, so they will keep you nice and cozy, but because they are very fine merino wool. I think they will be quite breathable and you will not get too hot in them. They also have this gorgeous pleating detail, which I'm absolutely obsessed about because it just gives a little bit more interest to the skirt. And I can definitely see me styling up the skirt with so many of my wardrobe staples, which is just incredible. So I'm very excited about the skirt and I believe this is going to be my first purchase from this wish list. I really, really want to give this skirt a go because it could be my perfect autumn winter skirt. Next up, let's move on to Adenola. So we're going to throw a little bit of gym wear into this wish list. I really want to get some more leggings. I work out five times a week at the moment, so it's quite a lot and I definitely see some wear and tear on my gym wear. So I need to get some new leggings and also if possible some new tops to go with the leggings, but leggings is the priority. So I really want to get a pair of Adenola Ultimate Pocket Leggings, which I don't know when they started making them with pockets, but they didn't used to have pockets and now they have and that is incredible. So I definitely want to get some with pockets and I really want to get one in the color Coffee Bean. And if possible, I would also get a second pair of leggings in the color blue or navy blue, midnight blue. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I really love the shade of blue. So I would be delighted if I could add this also to my workout wardrobe. And to go with the leggings, I would, for the midnight blue set, need a top. Um, so I would need to get some sports bra or top thing. Not sure on what exactly I would like to go for, but yeah, I would love to have a midnight blue set. And maybe also a sweater and a pair of jogger. Let's see if that happens. It's definitely not a priority for me. The leggings are because I need new ones. But yeah, that would be a nice addition. And I just put it on the wish list because you never know. I'm manifesting right now, you know? I'm I'm just thinking about the things I want to get and maybe <laughs> maybe it's gonna happen. Who knows? Next up we have another skirt, and this one is from Tommy Hilfiger. It's a very simple A-line denim skirt. It's more of a like darker denim material and I already have a white corduroy skirt with the same style basically. It looks absolutely identical apart from the material and I really loved wearing it. So I was thinking it would be very nice to have a darker denim option because that would be a bit more casual but still I already know I like the shape of it. And I don't know, I have gravitated towards denim a little bit more. I usually am not like a denim lover but Recently, I found myself looking at denim skirts. It's on the wish list, so let's see. Let's see what happens. Next up, let's move to Cezanne. Cezanne is a brand that I've seen everywhere, but that I have not ordered from before. I'm actually quite often on their side and just looking through stuff, but for some reason, I've never bought anything from them before, but they do have a lot of gorgeous pieces. So I picked a few that I could see myself wearing and that I would be very excited to have in my wardrobe. The first one being the skirt Claren. It is a midi skirt in this gorgeous, brown color. It has pleats that just give it a beautiful A-line shape. It also has a button placket in the front and it also has um, big belt loops 
at the top, which I think is quite a nice detail. It's made from 100% cotton, which we love. We love a good natural material on this channel. And it also has just the most gorgeous color, to be honest. It, that was what drew me to the skirt. It just looks so autumnal. It also has more of a like rustic feel because the brown is quite a warm tone. It's quite a reddish brown. I really enjoy that. Everything about the skirt just screams perfection to me. So that is why it landed on this list. And the second item from Cezanne is actually the exact same. They have this skirt in a denim material. And as I said before, I am quite fond of denim at the moment. And yeah, what can I say? I mean, it's the exact same style. I just really love the look of it. I really love an A-line skirt or dress silhouette because I think it's just the most flattering to have, like for me personally. It has a little bit of like a countryside look, which I randomly really like. They also have a matching shirt with it. So it kind of just looks like a dress when you see it on the website. And I really love that as well. I might need to get the combo because it just looks so nice. And it is not as elegant of an outfit as I would normally go for. But to be honest, I am a countryside girl, so I can embrace this part of, of my soul a little bit more. And it would be perfect for, I don't know, strolling through nature, going on walks. And I personally just really love it. So I put it on the list. I have one item from Ralph Lauren, which is a cable knit round neck jumper in the color cream. I already have two of these and I have to say I love them two bits. They have been featured in a whole bunch of videos, especially the camel colored one, which I don't think they have right now in this colorway. But if they have, I'm trying to link it down below. But the cream just caught my eye. It is such a staple, elegant color. The jumper is 100% cotton, so it's super easy to just throw in the washing machine and my jumpers just wash perfectly. So I'm not scared about that. The cable knit detail is such a classic and elegant choice for this jumper and makes it a little bit more, it just adds something to it, which I really like. It's a perfect layering piece because it's not too thick. And yeah, I just really enjoy the ones I already own. And I thought in this lighter colorway, it would pair very nicely with a lot of my blazers in winter, autumn time. Let's see, I would love to get it. It's not a necessity because I have quite a lot of jumpers, but I would love to add it to my little Ralph Lauren cotton cable knit jumper collection. And the last category is bags. I really wanna get a new bag. And I don't take this choice lightly. I really think quite hard about what bag to get because it is quite a big investment, let's be honest. Bags are quite expensive nowadays. So I really wanna be sure that I pick a bag that I love and that I'm going to be loving in 10 years time because I have one bag like one real real bag from Strathbury and I am wearing it constantly it was such a great purchase for me personally and I'm so happy that I picked this style and the size and everything so I, I just wanted to make sure that this bag is going to be a purchase like the Strathbury bag in the end I decided to no, I, I, I haven't decided to buy it yet. It's just on my wish list. I'm wishing for the Pauline Numero D. These, I should fresh up my French, I guess. It is this beautiful half circle bag. You can wear it on your shoulder or you can wear it cross body, which I'm definitely gonna be doing. I love a good cross body bag. I don't, I'm not very fond about wearing bags on your shoulders because I don't know. It's just not as comfortable for me. So I really prefer to have the option to wear it as a crossbody bag. And I am still undecided on the color. They do a darker brown and they do a lighter brown. I definitely want to get a brown bag because I have a black one. So I, I need a brown one to go with my brown shoes, basically. And yeah, I'm not sure which color to go for. If you have an opinion about that, if you have a favorite, leave it down below. Maybe it's gonna help me. I feel like I'm leaning a little more to a lighter brown color. But I don't know, we'll see. I really love them both. The bag is still quite small, but I feel like it can fit a decent amount of things. I think I can fit my camera, my phone, my keys. I've seen a whole bunch of videos on that topic. What's in my bag videos about this uh, kind of bag. And maybe even a little small water bottle. Let's see if I 
can fit that in there that would be perfect but if not it would be fine but yeah I really want that bag I think it just looks so beautiful and so chic and it's again a little bit more chic casual I don't know what's going on with me with the casual thing but yeah I just feel like it's such a timeless bag with a lot of attention to detail so I'm very excited to be hopefully fingers crossed purchasing this bag this autumn maybe winter, let's see. I would be super happy about that. All right, guys, so this was my autumn wish list. Let me know what your favorite item on this list is. I would be quite interested to hear your opinion. If you enjoyed this video format, which I haven't really done before, then maybe leave a thumbs up on this video so I know you enjoyed it and that I know that maybe I could make some more if you like. You don't have to do anything. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you for my next one. Bye-bye.